another fun and exciting math time. Come and join me in discovering a new lesson from Quarter 4, Module 3 of Grade 7 Mathematics entitled The Graphical Presentation of Data. And here is the most essential learning competency in this lesson. Uses appropriate graphs to represent organized data such as pie chart, bar graph, and line graph. Are you now ready, Magdalene students? I am happy to hear that. Do you know the idiomatic expression, a picture is worth a thousand words? According to the idiom.com, a picture conveys information more effectively than words, and using graphics can convey ideas more effectively than a large number of words. In his statistics, data are collected and organized. As data are generally in large volume, they need to be put in a compact and presentable form. This lesson deals with the presentation of data precisely so that the large volume of data collected could be made usable readily and are easily understood. Now sit back, relax, and enjoy. First type of presenting data is a pie chart. A pie chart or a pie graph is represented by a circle divided into slices or sectors of various sizes. It shows the relationships among parts as well as the relationship of a part to a group. The data are presented in percentage form and represented in the pie chart by an equivalent fractional part or sector of a group. Let us try to do this example. The table shows how Tyrai spends each part of her budget. Let us construct a graph to visually display this data. To construct a pie chart, we will divide the circle according to the percentage given by each sector. 40% for food, 20% goes to clothing, 25% for the utilities, for entertainment we have 10%, and lastly for the savings 5%. And here is the pie chart of Tyra's budget. It is now time to exercise our brain. Using Tyra's budget presented using a pie chart, let us answer the following questions. Number one, how many sectors are in the graph? You're right, it's five. Number two question, what item account for the greatest expense? Correct, it's for food. Third question, what percent of the budget is saved? Correct again, it's 5%. Fourth question, if the allowance amounts to 20,000 pesos, how much is spent for food? Very good, it's 8,000 pesos because 40% of 20,000 pesos is 8,000 pesos. Great job, Matgagaling students! Let us now proceed to the next type of presenting data. Second type of presenting data is a bar graph. A bar graph is a graph which uses horizontal or vertical bars to represent data. When a bar graph has bars which extends from left to right, it is called a horizontal bar graph. On the other hand, if the bars extends from bottom to top, it is called a vertical bar graph. A bar graph is used to compare data. Let us try to do this example. A survey of a student's favorite after school activities was conducted at a school. The table shows the results of the survey. To construct a bar graph using the given data, first, draw two lines perpendicular to each other, intersecting at zero. 
Along the horizontal axis, choose the uniform width of bars and uniform gap between the bars and write the names of the data items whose values are to be marked. We have students' favorite afternoon school activities such as play sports, do household chores, earn money, chat online, and lastly, watch TV. Along the vertical axis, choose a suitable scale in order to determine the heights of the bars for the given values. We can use the scale 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, and 60 to determine the height of the bars. Lastly, draw the bars according to the given data. For play sports, we have 39, do household chores, 56, earn money, 44, chat online, 35, and lastly, watch TV, 26. It is now time to exercise our brain. Let us answer the following question. Number one question, which afternoon school activity do students like most? Correct! Most of the students do household chores. Number two question. Which after school activity do students like list? You're right! List of the students watch TV. Third question. How many students like to earn money? Correct! There are 44 students who like to earn money. Last question. List the categories in the graph from greatest to least. Very good. Number one is do household chores. Number two is earn money. Number three, play sports. Fourth is chat online. And lastly is watch TV. Very good, math gagaling student. Let us now proceed to the next type of presenting data. Third type of presenting data is a line graph. A line graph is used to show changes in data over a period of time. Data like changes in temperature, income, and population can be represented by a line graph. Let us now try this example. Let us construct a line graph using the following data. To construct a line graph using the following data, first, Draw two lines perpendicular to each other intersecting at zero. Next, mark points at equal intervals along x-axis and write the names of the data items whose values are to be marked. We have day 1, day 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Step 3, along the y-axis, choose an appropriate scale considering the given values. We have 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, and 20. Next, we need to plot the points. For day 1, we have 18 degrees Celsius. Day 2, 16 degrees Celsius. Day 3, 16 degrees Celsius. Day 4, 15 degrees Celsius. Day 5, 13 degrees Celsius and Day 6, 12 degrees Celsius. Lastly, we need to join each point with the successive points using a ruler. And here is the line graph of the daily temperature for Baguio City. Using the line graph, let us answer the following questions. Number 1, what is the line graph all about? Correct. It's about the temperature in Baguio City. Number two question. What was the lowest temperature recorded? Very good. It's 12 degrees Celsius. What was the highest temperature recorded? Very good. It's 18 degrees Celsius. Last question. Did the temperature increase or decrease over time? Based on the graph, the temperature decreased. Great job, Magagaling students! Let us now proceed in comparing graphs.
In my previous discussion, you learned about pie chart, bar graph, and a line graph. You learned how to read and interpret information from each type of graph. If you were asked to create a graph from a given set of data, how would you know which type of graph to use? The graph we choose depends on the type of data given and what we are asked to convey to the reader. Let us try to answer the following problems. Problem number one, the table shows the number of mobile phones sold by brand for this month. What graph would best demonstrate the sales of each brand? Can we use pie chart? How about a bar graph? Can we try line graph? Let us investigate the given data. The numerical data in this table is not changing over time. So, a line graph would not be appropriate for summarizing the given data. The bar graph stresses the individual sales of each brand as compared to the others. The bar graph does not use the total of all items in the table. This makes the bar graph more direct and accurate way of presenting the data in the table. How about problem number two? The table shows the humidity level recorded in Puzo Rubio. What graph would best demonstrate the humidity level for each day? Let us now investigate. The humidity level is given as percent. At first glance, this might want to think that a pie chart should be used to summarize this data. However, the data in the table does not any parts in relation to a whole. Thus, a pie chart is not the right choice. The data in this table is changing over time. So, a line graph would be the appropriate choice for summarizing the given data. Problem number three. The table shows the composition of Earth's atmosphere. What graph would best represent the composition of the Earth's atmosphere? Is it a bar graph, pie chart, or a line graph? Let us examine the table. The word composition indicates that we are looking at the parts of a pool. The Earth's atmosphere is the pool, which is 100%, and each gas is a part of that pool. Accordingly, a pie chart is the best choice for summarizing this data. It looks like you have learned a lot today. Let us try to put into practice what you have learned. Can we bring out your pen and paper and answer the task? correct answers did you get? Your score will tell you if you need to practice more or move to the next level. Remember, in choosing the type of graph to use depends on the data and what we want to convey to the readers. We will use pie chart to show the relationship among parts and the relationship of a part to a whole a bar graph to compare facts, and a line graph to show changes in data over a period of time. 
For your assignment, do the given task. I hope you have learned a lot from our lesson today. Always stay healthy and keep safe. Goodbye!